Hey everyone, Spicy Toast Gaming here. I took a break from all of the editing of the monthly challenges to finally play Aurelian Soul. So I got him at three stars. I did buy the bundle and I also completed all of the monthly challenges. So have him at that three stars, almost have him at uh, four stars, but we'll have to wait till next month to be able to play that. Now Aurelian Soul, pretty much designed to be the most powerful broken champion in the game. If we take a look at that star powers, when you play a created card, reduce the cost of allied champions everywhere by two. And then when you play a champion, level them up, you're welcome. So you can just immediately level up any champions you play. Very, very powerful. And then the two star plus one starting mana, I graciously bestow a rare or epic item on all of your created cards. Now with Aurelian Soul, the main way you're making created cards is through invoking. So being able to pick all of those celestial cards. So it makes sense to use so much synergy with creating cards. Now for Relics, we're using one of the normal Cosmic Pearls, not one of the greater ones. So we get that plus one starting mana, and then if we win a adventure, we get five times the normal champion XP. Now, while I probably could go take on the actual Aurelian Soul, even at the level one, we always test out a new champion against the two-star Nautilus first. So let's go and do that now. All right, in game, let's see what we get for our first power. Well, Bouncing Blades, this is gonna be creating a blade. So a created card, so this should just always be triggering our star powers. It should be really, really strong. All right, Beast Below. Uh, let's get rid of this and even the Wounded White Flame. Both of these are able to create cards, so that's pretty important. And so is those. Very nice. We're starting at three mana because of that one power. Oh, my word. So I didn't even think about it, but because this is a created card, it has an epic item. Does that mean it's going to get an epic item every time we create it? So every round? Regardless, this is just already <laughs> pretty broken. And <laughs> we just have a Teemo. Teemo didn't level up though, so that's one interesting thing is, I guess since we didn't play him... Yeah, when you play a champion. So if we just summon one, doesn't seem like they level up immediately. Man, I've been looking forward to this so much. Everyone else has been having fun playing. Oh, here are all the different epic items. Everyone else has been having fun playing Aurelian Soul, and I'm just sitting there editing my videos. <laughs> uh. Alright, so no, it just has one epic item, so just because we're creating every round doesn't mean it's going to keep getting more and more. Alright, let's go ahead here. <laughs> so, I don't think he's going to be as broken in some sense as some champions like Jinx or LeBlanc, where they're able to end games very, very quickly. He does still seem like he'll be a slower champion but just very, very powerful. Uh, I guess we could also play this here. Uh, some more draw actually would be pretty nice. Sad that we haven't drawn our Aurelian Soul. He's probably pretty cheap by now. <laughs> Another T row. Ah, uh, yeah, we can go here just to reduce down our damage a little bit. Also, making a Zoe is pretty great, because she'll just keep making these free invokes. Alright, GG. Gain some more of our beholds, that's pretty great. Support champion, very important. Let's see what we can get here. So, Victor also benefits from created cards. 
So I think let's actually go here. Uh, yeah, let's go check out the shop. So Devourer of the Depths. My pretty solid opening hand, but let's actually let's actually get rid of a couple of these so we can try to get some of our champions. Since we're not level 20, we don't get that uh, extra draw at the start of the game. Ah, uh, the <laughs> messengers should be pretty strong there. Alright, there we go. We have our Aurelian Soul. So we have Aurelian Soul down to one. <laughs> Wonderful. So pretty much all of them are going to have three or less powers. So let's go for the Cosmic Rays right here. I guess our Cosmic Rays won't really matter if they're all dead anyways. Oh well. <laughs> My, how they stare. Uh, Gigi. All right, more champions. I think they said that you're more likely to get other champions. Uh, let's go for a Riven with that augment. Would be pretty strong. I guess Telstones are also going to always be very good for you because you're creating cards and then all those cards are going to get extra items on them. So that's interesting. Uh, since we have another shop right there, yeah, we can just buy something simple like that. This wouldn't be bad to buy because it's a zero cost Telstones. Um, but since we have not that much gold, we want to have 300 for if we get a rare power. Sure, and Feebling Strike's fine. Thresh. That would that would not be bad. Yeah, we get a lot more champions, but that's actually a good thing. Alright, let's go for the Unscarred Weaver. Oh, let's get rid of the Celestial Wonder. And even the Armed Gearhead. We want to try to get, yeah, some champions in our opening hand. Doubling dice, that's not too bad. Ah, oh, we didn't get another one. Sad. Uh, we'll actually wait. We'll probably get Riven to be played for free <laughs> pretty easily. Sure, let's go for that. Fight or die. Nice. And doubling dice. Perfect. So I think since this is a created card, just by playing it will automatically discount our champions. We don't actually need to use it on the champion. Yes, perfect. that doubling dice is actually so strong because even though this isn't doing a lot of damage every time we cast it we're getting <laughs> I 
every time we cast it, we're getting some cost reduction. Hey, it's not giving us epic items. Weird. Oh, so it... It did, it just didn't show us for some reason. Alright, that might be a little bit of a bug. <laughs> uh, wonderful. Yeah, let's just attack with everyone, do as much damage as we can. Man, I guess we could have waited a little bit, and this would have buffed up our attack and do a little bit more damage. Didn't think we'd get that lucky. So let's try this again. So yeah, we don't see anything. But I think if we select one, it will have an epic item. Or a rare or epic, yeah. So it's still doing it, it's just not showing us necessarily. <laughs> oh man. Thing is, there are so many created cards in Path of Champions. GG. Uh, I think, yeah, let's do, let's get Garen. Not too bad. Uh, Aurelian Soul. I mean, I guess Barrier, none of these really matter. I don't want to use a reroll, though, and get, like, these two in Garen. I want to make sure we get more copies of Aurelian Soul. All right, what card do we want to cut? I think let's actually cut the White Flame. It's a good card, but it's not creating any other cards. All right, Sejuani. All right, we have Garen. Let's try to reroll fairly aggressively. We want to get a Relian Soul if possible. There we go. Perfect. The Winter's Claw Strikes. <laughs> That's one thing I like. Uh, so with... Uh, we actually don't want to discard anything. So with some really OP champions, like... Uh, Jinx, they can be really boring to play because every match is the exact same. Or feels the exact same. But with Aurelian Soul, it might get boring... If you get bored of just being brokenly overpowered. But his kit is going to be so focused on making created cards and stuff like that, that it's going to be a lot more random. <laughs> oh, that's wonderful. <laughs> so many level ups. This is actually going to be. Oh, this is going to be GG. <laughs> Alright, more Aurelian Soul. Sure, Phage, that's fine. So he's actually going to be very good for some of those powers where. <laughs> Uh, both of these are good. We'll do another Bouncing Blades just so we can get some great cost reduction. 
There's a lot of quests where you have to play and level up champions often for like events. Aurelian Soul is going to be amazing for that. Uh, let's go for the Jubilant Poro. And again, let's reroll pretty aggressively. We just kind of want champions since we can play them for free. So both these will go off, and yep, Riven is now <laughs> zero cost. Uh, yeah, we can just attack like this. Uh, yeah, Hero's Horn will be pretty good. This could be pretty fun to play. <laughs> So Victor's pretty awesome because now all of our created cards cost less too. Um, sure, let's play this because any champion we get we can just play for free. Oh, almost. <laughs> Glorious evolution. Uh, let's go ahead and play this. Oh, it's just so ridiculous, but also just so fun. <laughs> we are kind of filling up with too many cards, though. Actually, have room to play both of these, or for both of them. Sad. I do love an audience. Ah, GG. I gave more copies of Victor. It is quite fun being able to just intentionally try to get as many champions as possible, pretty much. Uh, this is fine. All these are fine, but not amazing. Sure, let's just... We could go for three Bouncing Blades, but I think another Mana Gem would actually be funnier. Alright, Ash might want to grab that. Man, we're just getting all the powers. Sure, might as well. Let's... Why not? Alright, champion item chest. I'm really liking the fact that he is overpowered, but still pretty slow. Like, he's not ending the game. Like, there's, there's gonna be a lot of champions that can end games faster than him. And so I like that they went a different approach with it. Actually, let's... Play something else first. Just a little something I like to call fun. And we get it again. Wonderful. <laughs> Let's just keep reducing down costs. 
Because also, every time we do this, all of our champions are just getting cheaper and cheaper. Oh, it's only a daybreak effect, right? Uh, let's get some extra draw. That's one thing we're really struggling with as Aurelian. It's a pretty strong opening attack. <laughs> uh, I guess once he hits four stars and all of his units just get doubled in power whenever you play them, he might just be even faster than some of the yeah, fast champions. Welcome to the tipsy uh, GG. Alright, more champions. All that really matters. Uh, Relian Soul, more draw. Nice. Let's go ahead and go ahead and cut the priestess and Nautilus. Alright, we'll get rid of the goat. Um, and even the behold, I think. Nice that we have two champions in our opening hand though. Let's just play these, immediately kill him. And all of our champions are now free. Also, get, getting doubling dice on that's crazy. Yeah, that was one thing I was... Since technically our Victor didn't play this, we can't actually play the doubling dice. That's sad. Oh, well. Ah, uh, sure. We can play this a little bit slower. All of these have, like, augments, so they're going to get more and more power when we play creative cards. There are no zero cost champions, so that's not going to do anything. Oh, a scout attack. Well, we're going to be able to end this round. <laughs> GG. Was fun. Alright, so we're actually at level 13. So we just used one of the normal Cosmic Pearls, which gave us five times the normal XP. So just completing that, getting level 13 from one adventure, that's pretty crazy. And like, Nautilus isn't that difficult of an adventure. So leveling up now is going to be very, very easy. Overall, I think Aurelian Soul is a lot of fun. He's going to get boring for some people when they want more of a challenge and he's just too strong. But in general, I like the fact that he is still a little bit slower or can be and that your play style is going to be much more random because you're more focusing on all these random created cards, just stacking as many champions as you can. 
So it's going to be very different than a lot of the other OP champions that we have that just they're OP because the end of the game turn one or two. Uh, so I really like the design they went for with him. And I think it was a very smart decision making him a four star champion that we get from the monthly challenges. Overall, big W to Riot. I think he's really fun and a great addition to the game. All right, if you enjoyed that, definitely like and subscribe. I hope you're all having a great day and a great week.